Praise the Lord. I am so happy today that I can be here in a studio with you and give you and tell you what's going on in Romania at Romania Mission. We've been sick for a few days, for about a week. We've been home, stayed home. Everybody around this area has got some kind of something going on here in, in, in Bucharest and in Romania. But thank God for his healing power. And I want to bring to you today just a verse of Scripture, and then I'm going to show you something, the update, the latest update on our new little church building that you've been helping us with. Some of you have been so faithful to send us $50, a check for $100. I was looking at it today. Some of you sent one brother sent us $4,000. And that's, I mean, it costs to put this church building in and everything. But God is so faithful to put it on your hearts to help us. And I want to thank you with all my heart for helping us. So I want to show you what we studied, just a verse of Scripture, and then I'll show you the pictures for the new building or the building we're working on, renovating. In John chapter 17, this is what we studied Sunday. It says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. But then he says in 18, As thou hast sent me, this is Jesus talking to the Father. He's praying for his disciples just before he goes to the cross. And he says, As the Father has sent me, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. So when God saves us, he has a purpose for us and a plan, and that's to bring others into the family of God. Because as you know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so as I was reading this and I was thinking about the Lord, he said in verse 23, uh, I and them and, and thou and me, uh, that thou may be made perfect as in one. And then he says this, uh, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Did you ever think about that God the Father loves you and Jesus Christ loves you as Father loves you as much as he loves his son, Jesus Christ the Lord? He does. And I want you to know that these people over here, they... Truth does something. When people know the truth, it sets them free. We're spoke, supposed to meet with a mayor this week, this little town that we're evangelizing and planning a church in. And some mayors have come to me and told me, Bro, he said, Mr. Millett, when you came in here, these people were drunks, murders, everything. And they were. I mean, it's to steal people's watches and kill them. He said, but now, he said, when, it, when they come in here and you should put these little churches, he said, the people... Uh, Start living right, quit drinking and cussing and fighting and murdering and stealing and beating their wives. And now they send their children to school. Now they uh, are nice citizens. They build houses. Look how clean our town is. And so this town and this part we're in is not the cleanest part, uh, but it's the Lord is working in these people's lives. And we're going to show you now the little buildings Here's where I pulled up. This is the old tape that shows you where I pulled up. Look at the gate behind here. Here's where that family with those five little girls lived in this house, abandoned house. And so we bought this property for $22,000 that you all gave me. And now we've got a gate on it. We have a fence. We have to paint the gate. We have to paint the house outside yet. But, boy, we have worked on the inside. And this is what it looked like. If you remember, this is a little room those five little girls lived in. Like rats, really. I mean, it was pitiful. I went in and I wept. I went home. I couldn't sleep when I th th started thinking about it. And uh, and this is what they live, lived in here. And I thought about if we could knock this wall and that wall and just put uh, a solid in there or a solid. We call it uh, a room, a long room for meeting, have a church building in there. Church, like this. This is what we've done. We put sheetrock on it, put an air conditioner at one end and an air conditioner at the other end. And it's pretty, it'll hold 70 to 100 people in that little room right there. And now we're going through and show you what it looked like before when we first went in and seen it. Now we have a new door in there today. It's, it's a, uh, what they call a thermopane, thermoglass, you know, a thermopane door. And this is another room where we go through here. And this was what it looked like back in this back room. We have now, uh, this is a closet on the left. And now it's all sheet rocked real nice to make a nice closet in there. And back here in this room, you remember this? This was that old dirty room. We changed it and put a bathroom. See the tile? There's a shower in there. And so we're cleaning it up and making an office in this end of it or a place to store. Moses wants to use this to store some of the children's books and things that we have for the children. 
And now here's where we put the septic tank. That's coming today, I think. That's what they said. It's coming today, 2,000 liters. And this is back of the building. And we plowed that field, that yard up. And now we're going to back there in the back and disc it out and make it flat. And uh, this is what it looks like inside that little building. This is going to be the lunch room or the room that we have our dining room in where we can teach the children. And we're so grateful. Thank you so much for praying for us and being a part of us. Please get involved. Uh, we're not interested in building big buildings. We're interested in finding the sheep of God and leading them to Christ and doing the work of the Lord. And I know you know that. So if you want to help us, please pray for us. And if you want to get in touch with us, our address is at the end of this film. It's in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we're so grateful to the Lord for you. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I never thought that true love could be Knowing Lord Jesus Christ personally His name is Jesus Christ King of